So now we're ready to put the ham on the fire. As you can see, everything in order. So that's just water? Yeah, yeah, just water. So I'll add some ingredients in a little while. Hello, my name is Clyde. Welcome to the Hills of Farming. And today, I would like to invite you all into my kitchen. Good day, everyone. Uncle Clyde here again once more. So today, in my kitchen, I'm boiling my ham like how I normally do, from since little boy. I uh, had it soaking overnight in the lemon water and so on. So now, I'm ready to boil it. I'll set up the fire and put it to boil. And put different little things like bay leaf and a little clove, a little fever grass, these type of things to give it a little flavor. So, so yeah, yeah, that's how I normally do all, every Christmas. All years long, since I was a boy. With my parents, I boil in ham that way. I, I never bake a ham. Never, never bake a ham. Boil it, clove it, and eat it. On the ground, on the ground, right down, fireside. Fireside right through. Never not none boil ham on stove and all those things. Make me a little fireside outside. That's the tradition. So now I'll set up the fire to put the ham to boil. Yeah, this is a lemon wood. So, you could use lemon wood or tanka bean, olivier, lime, but you can't put any, any wood to, to boil ham because you don't want the flavor from the old wood to go into the ham. So you have to use the, the right one. So I choose lemon wood. So now we're ready to put the ham on the fire. As you can see, everything in order. So that's just water? Yeah, yeah, just water. So I'll add some ingredients in a little while. So now I'll add bay leaf, fever grass, Put some of my grind seasoning from the fresh from the garden, clove, and that's about it. Yeah. Love in the house. So I will not get my bay leaf now. There you can see, fresh from the tree here. That's why it's always good to plant. You always have fresh things for your, for your pot. You can't go wrong. There you see. So, every time I put in bay leaf in anything, I always crack the leaf on them in two. So you get the flavor out of it. Uh -huh. Like this. Split them up. So you get the real flavor out of it.
I want to add a few more grass. That's how the parents teach me all the time to wrap it up. It's a kind of tradition thing, you know. And, uh, and uh, grass is also grass. Yeah. So you see, wrap it in a way it won't untie. Don't mind you have some dry ones, but that's nothing. It still have the flavor. So what I'm going to do, I will wash out the roots and them properly. So this is the root, the root also good. Everything, the whole tree is good. So you can plant now back if you want. You, and you could also plant it back if you want. It doesn't matter, but I have plenty, so it's not a problem for me. So I'll go and wash it out and cut them up and put everything in the pot. Now I'll add the fibagas root itself and the whole stem. Everything good to everything good to boil. Cut it up small so it won't come out the pot. Do you see? Now I'll add a little clove here. You don't have to put too much right now because after it boils up, I still have to add clove to it. So I just put in a little bit now for the flavor. I'll put some of my homemade seasoning. All these add to your flavor. You could never, this have everything. This have garlic, salve, pimento, celery, Ginger, Spanish thyme, fine thyme, scythe, broadleaf, everything. So when I put this, we're good to go. You can't go wrong. Okay. Okay. So, so that's about it there. Yeah. So how long you have to leave that to boil? This, I will leave it boil like an hour on one side and I'll turn it, let it boil another hour. Because as I say, this have nothing to do with baking. Absolutely no baking. Just boil, clove up, and blade, knife, and eat. Okay, so now I'm about to check the ham and see how I will turn it over so it will get to boil on the other side. And then I'll give it about an hour again. Yes. Bring up a, a nice little color. You can't stop the wood fire all the time. So I'm going to add some more water for the other side to boil. So I love any house all the time. Okay, now I will check the ham and see how it goes in there. Put it down. By now we have more than two hours of boiling. So I'll show by now my ham good to go. So I'll take it off, put it in the inner mill here and to add the clove to it. Now I will clove up the ham as you can see. Cook, well cooked, well boiled, but everything. So what I'm going to do is take out the outer skin there and put all the clove on it. That's about it there. So oh, now I'll put the clove on it to make sure it flavors. 
til at arbejde klogt her. Let's make sure and put through the cracks, as you can see, all between here. Have space, anywhere you see a little space, put clove. That is the flavor. So now I'll turn it over to put it on the other side. So here now, my ham ready to go, ready to eat. As you can see, all wrong half clove, and that's about it. Right or wrong. So you could leave it there, rest, or like an hour so let the clove go through, through it, you know, so it'll have a better flavor. It's not something to eat one time. Let it, let it take the seasoning, all the clove, nothing else.